for Kassin to start roaming. They need to get level 6 on him as fast uh -oh. as possible or find amazing. They have found him. He's been taunted. Sonic Wave connects. The exhaust is out. But that's a two-man knockup. Myth is in the area. He's responded with his jungler and Peke with amazing find a second kill. Soaz teleports in. He burns down Kassin's hopes and Peke gets the kill credit. And oh, where is on. Ryu in that fight? You can't go for that play if you die. Four and a half thousand gold lead in game two of the series. Ryu is gonna... Playful Trickster aggressively. I think the charm missed there. Chum the Waters doesn't. Ryu gone in for the Ignite. Flash forward. Urchin strike. Peke gets burned down. And there's an assist for Mithy as he finishes the stand United. Oh, gonna taunt onto Mithy. Unbreakable Will comes out. Two-man knockout. Ryu takes a turret hit. One more auto attack. Playful Trickster's away. Ryu's still alive. Heels is coming for the flank though. Bottom right of your screen. Let's find out if he can get Danny there. Sniper. Sniping. Voidu's flash that forward. Does that that does, count. does count. Kill credit goes to Amazing Cocoon. Into knockout. Double kill for the amazing, amazing Origin. Shike slowly getting these picks that they're looking for. If you can play ping pong here with Ryu. You'll find him once. Oh, oh early on the pulverize. Cast a curse comes woman, into play. Ryu still sticking around. Mithy forced to use the unbreakable will. There's no tower to fall back to. We're going to cut to mid lane as Niels has run out of mana. Lulex has execute potential. Maybe gone in. He gets it. Will the Akathian surprise kill? No. Look to 5 on 5 engage right He's now. Dead. They are looking instead Ooh. to let Ryu be the split pusher. And Nils, how did Ryu get in there? There's two wards around that brush. Were at least. Health, and there's an exposed mid lane turret. Now Peke, he may get dope. He's rooted, he's knocked up, and that's a kill. Stand United is still available if H2K need it. Drawing the 1-3-1 one, one is gonna be for H2K because nothing is gonna stop Ryu. That means you always have one lane pushing. The other two lanes just gotta try and match him in terms of minion waves and then you start getting these roams between the lanes where... Finally flanking with the Shen on top of that. That could have finally be the opening they're looking for in all these games. Fish is about to come up for Ryu as well. Slowly posturing out. Origin have to have this figured out though. They have to proceed with caution. Origin done a very good job setting up side lanes though to push down. So H2K have to start the dragon and then back away. They won't really be able to get anything. Peke is here though with Volti. They're setting up trying to catch someone. Charm missing. Amazing on the way back. Poor dragon just stuck in the middle. Equalizer still available here for Soaz. The dragon's finally been committed and focused. Here comes Origin. Unbreakable wheels out. Peke is down. They get the dragon with Peke down. Can Origin still survive? Niels is low mobility. He's no mobility because he's in a grave. Amazing's fed. He's got another kill. He's gone golden. That's Soaz rather. Soaz is down. One for four. It's not done yet. Triple kill for Yannan. He gets cocooned. Ryu gets the ace. H2K are fighting! Here the outer turret, uncontested. Continuing to grow the lead. He did see... Wow, that's a flash forward! Oduwamna has caught Peke! Amazing! Tries to get the venomous bite, but it's Yarnan! That's 505! Inner turret is being focused, equalizer. Obviously the death cap is full squishy. The fish has found Niels! There's the stand united from Mithy! Niels is out! The cocoon connects onto Ryu, but the damage is already done. H2K had their backs against the wall. They were down 0-2, and now they are breaking Origin's base wide open. Inhibitor follows the fight. 7-0-5 on Shana. What a stellar performance. What he couldn't do in the first game, and even in the second game, he finally managed to deliver and show why he's still one of the best carries in Europe in that 80 carry position. Completely outclassing Niels right now, who's still waiting to scale. Amazing drops. His team is doing such a good job of just setting up yeah. Yarnan for the damage and the kills, basically. They're locking down targets, they burst them, he just pops in, fires a few times. It's okay, though, just to decide where do we want to go? Well, of course, the only tower left of super minions. Doing all the work for us, and then Ryu sitting next to these super minions, just being annoying. Stopping anyone for Origin to pull down and wave for them before they hit the Nexus turret. Engage from Mithy! Defense, let's see if it'll work. Yarnan's managed to get away. Soaz will use the Hourglass to avoid Chum the Waters. Ryu finds another one as Niels is focused down. He does take Oduwamna with him, but it will not be enough. Peke, defensive spirit rush. H2K, they will be picking up the game. They will get themselves a triple kill. And despite Soaz running away, he will be unable to defend the base. H2K, take the Nexus turret one will be taking Nexus turret number two, and they will be pushing us to game number four.
eventually. <laughs> As a reminder, the number three seed in the European LCS playoffs has never beaten the number two seed. And Rio was absolutely ecstatic about that win. H2K. Rio face no space. And Proly. They have one more chance. One more opportunity. You're quoting Eminem here, Trevor? I'm not. I'm simply stating facts, Crepo. Well, they still need two opportunities <laughs> if they want to win this best of five series. They're now one game to two.